All right, hey, welcome back to part 21. If you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel, like this video, and there's also the uh, course in the, the description box below, so check that out. And um, yeah, and so here we go uh, for this uh, for this part 21. So in the last video, we actually rendered the, the, the list form here. And in this one, I just wanna update it, um, keep it short um, and to the point, and um, move on to actually maybe even delete the the list as well um so uh let's see let's see let's see in our edit form here uh we're going to do something similar to what we did in the boards form which is to uh extract um uh, some duplication out so if you look at the um, edit form here and the new form here it's basically the same thing and you know, it is actually the same thing so um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a form partial here, standard Rails uh, sort of thing that people do. And we're just gonna copy the whole form here, paste it in here, and then um, it will say in our edit, uh, what do you call this, edit uh, template, we'll say, hey, render the form uh, partial, and then also pass in the board, uh, and the uh, list as well like this and the same for uh, for the new template we'll do the same thing and we will let's see um, delete this whole thing here because we don't need it anymore and in our form we'll get rid of the add sign since we're passing a board and list as a local variable and actually one thing I want to add is um, in our edit list here, I want to say edit list, um, I want to say list uh, title like this. I think it looks a little nicer. So if we do that, um, we can see that the, the form still renders and we go to, we go back and we try to add a new list. Um, it's still, this still works. So, you know, we just got a new list over here. Um, so. Um, here, what we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're just gonna um, hook this up. If you can see, um, I'm gonna take a look at our Rails logs. If we click the update list here, you can see that um, a request has been made to the, uh, it's a patch request or really a pull request to the boards list, list one, except it failed because the action update could not be found for the list controller. It's pretty easy to resolve. So what we'll do is we'll open up our list controller and we'll add the um, update method here. And we'll just say, hey, um, let's um, let's get the list, which is board list find params ID like this. And uh, we'll say, a, you know, if list dot update um, list params, um, you know, just redirect them to the board path. If not, render the uh, edit um, template again. And in our list spec, what we'll do is we'll get rid of this one pending uh, path that we have. And then uh, we will um, change our uh, routes here. Actually, we first, well, we'll change this first. We'll say board list path, because it's not board list path, it's board list singular path, like this. We'll also pass in um, list like this, which is defined here. And we'll also pass in board, what are we doing? Board um, list path like this as well here. And the parameters that we'll be passing in will be, well, the, the main param is list, not in, not board. Also, we're also passing in the title. Um, and we'll say updated list like this. And let's see, I think everything here should just, actually we gotta list, reload the list and check for the uh, title instead of the name. Okay, so I think I think this will just work. Um, so let's let's actually check this check if this works. So gonna um, just open just gonna um, just run the test for this spec and just the pull request. So line the describe block the pull request block. So 
Um, eh, okay, obviously this is failing because it should be updated list, not updated board. So if we just run that block again, everything uh, should pass. And if we run the whole test file, everything should um, pass as well. Okay, cool. And, and now we are just going to uh, test this. So let's say we just update this to list 12 and if we update it, it, um, it automatically works, which is great. So we updated this, actually let's, this, let's update this to the greatest list of all time and update and you can see that the title updates. So um, pretty easy, very simple. Um, and it's also safe to have it run the whole uh, suite again and everything should pass with uh, one pending block. All right, um, I am going to keep this video short uh, because we accomplished um, updating a list uh, pretty, pretty easily. So um, we will um, keep it at this and um, move on to the next video, which is to delete the list, which should probably be another very, very short one. Um, so uh, again, hopefully you enjoy these uh, videos. I think um, because they're shorter, they're easier to digest. Um, so, you know, if they are easier to digest, definitely leave a comment uh, below and I'll probably try to shorten up each video as much as possible. Maybe keep it to like 10 minutes or, or maybe a little bit below. Uh, but um, again, um, if you haven't subscribed, if you subscribe to the channel, like the video so that the channel, um, YouTube keeps promoting these types of videos. And uh, the, course is in the, the course is in the description box below. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the uh, next video.